This week on Loyal TV, join us at Lake Murray in Ardmore, Oklahoma, where a tower built during the 30s never quite got to fulfill its intended purpose. In 1937, Lake Murray opened as Oklahoma's first state park. And there are a few iconic buildings in Oklahoma. Tucker Tower is one of them. Looks like a castle in the middle of Oklahoma. A uh, weekend retreat for the governor. Now, it never opened as that and was never used as that. As a matter of fact, set empty for years unused. The New Deal era approved that kind of building and during the Depression. That's why the CCC was put together, and that's why the WPA was put together. CCC, they were people brought in from other areas, so they actually had to construct large, what, what really looked like and were modeled after military camps. The WPA, those were people mostly from the local communities that were put to work in those areas. It gives a lot of pride to the communities that have structures. You know, you'd be amazed at how many people walk into the facilities that we have telling us about their family members that used to tell them stories of working on these facilities. They may have been brought into those areas during that time for that specific purpose, but they anchored into that community at that point and their families are still being raised in that area. And so the idea was to give people outdoor spaces. When things are difficult, if you spend time outdoors and you spend time with family and friends, you know, whether that be recreating or resting, and, you know, the idea was to replenish the soul in a sense. We get people now that can't come up to the building because of its location and its accessibility. Imagine hauling the stones to this location. The average person walks up the path to here and is out of breath and has to rest for a few minutes before they can enjoy the museum. So yeah, it was a lot of work. And you're talking about, you know, mortar work and, and stone work and woodwork. It's all hard work anyway. You know, the fortunate thing is there was a lot of dedicated people that spent a good deal of time working toward that end. I mean, 1937, the park opened. However, the building was not open. Tucker Tower opened, I believe, in 1954 as a geological museum and museum of such. Uh, it went through a, a couple different phases where I, I think they did different things. 81, when the state park was was starting to involve a lot of the naturalist and, and interpreter programming. So it became a nature center and it kind of housed the naturalist program. Uh, I know they put in a floor at the second floor and then a spiral staircase that went to the top sometime after 54 when it opened. And uh, then throughout the 70s, 80s, and 90s, those were built a little bit more substantial. And even more recently in the mid 90s, when they constructed the upper floors, the actual decking of the floor and took out a large portion of the spiral staircase so that now you're only left with one small uh, ascent into that last little rim that goes on top of Tucker Towers, the traditional. Uh, Tucker Tower sets on a, a cliff that's about 60 feet tall and the building itself is about 65 feet. When you walk out the door of, of Tucker Tower at the very top, the view is tremendous. It's not perfectly accessible, but for the people that get up here, this is a pretty cool spot on Earth. Peering over the lake, Tucker Tower is a symbol over the lasting heritage of our great state. Join us again next week on Loyal TV as we continue to share the best stories you've never heard.